Alright guys, it's Benny2495, and in this commentary, I'm going to have a bit of a rant. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a rant, and to be honest, this commentary is totally directed towards David Van der Haar, and, well, any future Call of Duty from now on, pretty much. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, if that's even going to be the name of the next Infinity War title. Um, this is directed towards you guys, the game developers. Uh, the other night, I noticed that David Fonda had been on Twitter, and he had tweeted the following. In hardcore, since health regen isn't on, when damaged, do you want the blood to stay on the screen, like in Black Ops, or fade out? Hmm. Hmm, Mr. Von der Haar. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just think about this. Hmm. In hardcore, well, for a start, I don't play hardcore. Do I want the blood to stay on the screen or fade? Mm. You know, because that, that, that's that's a that's a good question, David. That is a, that is a good question because clearly the majority of the uh, Call of Duty community who uh, who buy your game and play your game religiously play hardcore. So it's you know it's you know what it's a valid question. I, I, I don't mean to be patronising. It's a valid question. Is it fuck right? Who plays hardcore? Why the fuck are you asking us these sort of questions? Seriously, David, what the fuck? I know exactly what you're doing, son. You're not fooling anyone. I'm going to throw this suggestion out there. This is straight away. This is this is the point that came to mind, and I actually tweeted something on the following lines. But given Twitter's stupid fucking character restriction, I couldn't make it as uh, concise and to the point that I wa that I wanted it to. Um, I asked the following, which he clearly hasn't replied. Because let's face it, I ain't fucking Hutch or anyone else of, of uh, YouTube fucking popularity like that. I asked the following question. Um, David, when are we going to have some input uh, with regards to the perk selection and perk balance? Now, it, hopefully you're on the same wavelength of where it is I'm going with this commentary. And if not, don't worry, because I'm going to try my best to explain. Name the two consistent, contentious points which have arisen in every Call of Duty. The two main aspects which have been the contentious points, the... the 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 sort of the point of negativity uh, the point of disagreement whatever the two main aspects features whatever you want to call them which have been consistently evident through every Call of Duty in the franchise the two main points have you got them yet for me they are perks and weapons specifically perk selection perk balance and weapon selection and weapon balance and to be quite Quite fair, it all surrounds this notion of balance. Balance is key when it comes to Call of Duty. A game is good if the game is balanced. That's the way I see it, and I hope that you'd agree. And you, I'll just cut to the chase. Where the fuck was our input, the community, the audience, the fucking customer? At the, at the end of the day, we are the customer. Where was our input with regards perk selection, perk balance... And weapon selection, weapon balance. Oh yeah, there wasn't any. There is no fucking input with regards to those features that have been implemented in the game. And I say implemented because they've already been put into action. There's fuck all we can do about it, people. I'm just going to say as it is. There's fuck all we can do about it. And as David Von Der Haar goes on Twitter asking us stupid fucking questions which make us, the community, the fucking customer, feel as if we've had some sort of... You know, input with regards to the the progression, the development of this brand new game, it it pisses me off because we, you know, it's as if he's having having a fucking safety net, using that as a scapegoat, so that when the game falls flat on its fucking ass, which it will do when Black Ops 2 is released, because it'll be shit, he can look back and say, well, you can't say I didn't ask for a, you know, some form of interaction with regards, you know, the community because I clearly did. No one fucking plays hardcore. Seriously, no one plays hard. Just like no one gives a shit about fucking campaign. No one gives a fu No one gives a shit about campaign. Seriously, make a fucking dedicated multiplayer only game. Focus all your attention on the fucking Treyarch staff or whoever it is, Infinity Ward. I don't give a shit. Focus all your attention on the multiplayer. Next thing I've known of this news about zombies having a fucking campaign. So on one disc, you are going to have zombies multiplayer, zombies campaign. Fucking Black Ops 2 multiplayer, Black Ops 2 campaign. I'd much rather have a fucking dedicated multiplayer for Black Ops 2. Seriously. So that, I don't know, I, some of the lines of Mo in Modern Warfare 3, they were saying, oh, we didn't have enough uh, memory available on the disc to implement the um, weapon packs. 
idea, that which is clearly capable of, of doing in Battlefield 3. Bull fucking shit! Seriously. Weapon packs, map packs. Add some variety to your fucking game. It increases the longevity of your fucking game. Seriously, man, what the fuck? See, oh, oh my god. Ghost, cold blooded, dead silence. Who fucking thought of that? You absolute tit. Seriously, who thought of that? It's. It, you're meant to do better than the previous game which is out. If this flaws in the game which is previous, or current, the game that you are currently developing, th there's no excuse that you don't improve upon it. What the fuck Modern Warfare 3 were thinking in the Infinity Ward et al staff, you know, fucking Raven and Sledgehammer get What the fuck they were thinking with bringing Death Streak into that? Who the fuck said, uh, no, my dad, I said we should have Death Streak. No one. No one wanted to see Death Streaks. No one. Right, Black Ops. Ghost was a problem. Second Chance was a problem. What does that tell you? What does that tell you, guys? That tells you... Not to do the same fucking mistake in that game. Next thing you know, fucking Dead Man's Hand. Who the fuck thought of Dead Man's Hand? Seriously. Seriously. That must have been some fucking stoned boardroom meeting, which somehow managed to get put through the fucking, you know, review stage or some shit. Or fucking photocopier Dave, or Coffee Man Dave, who got hold of the notes and passed it on to the development staff, and was like, you know what, I'm just going to troll with these guys, because I'm getting shit fucking hours and shit pay, so I'll just, you know, add this little note on the end. This should be something that when you get shot, you drop with a C4, which had the blast radius of a Predator missile, named Dead Man's Hand. What the f- See, trolling isn't even- <sighs> People are paying money for this, man. People are paying money for your game. And quite frankly, they're losing fucking trust in in this franchise. You are grinding this fucking franchise to the ground. Seriously. Sort your fucking act together. Listen to what we want to see implemented in the game. Modern Warfare 3. To be honest, I'm not surprised with Infinity War because they, they are the fucking... The quintessential fuck-ups when it comes to community support. So I'm not surprised when Modern Warfare 3 was released and the shit that was implemented in that game. Who the- No one fucking wanted to see half of the shit which was in that game. And, you know, surprise, surprise, they did it. I'm not surprised. Treyarch, I expect better. No one, I repeat, no one, in, in any forum that I fucking looked at, wanted to see Ghost, Cold Blooded, Dead Silence. Perk 1, Perk 2, Perk 3. Each individual tier. Stealth, stealth. Stealth. You fucking show me who wanted to see that in this game. No one. And what do you do? You fucking incorporate it. Seriously. Are you fucking taking the piss or summer? Because... <sighs> Another point, and I'll, I'll end on this point, because I know I've gone over fucking time and I don't give a toss. Because, let's face it, no one's going to see this fucking LMG mob on Gulch. Because everyone posts a 60 kill LMG mob. You know, everyone posts a 60 kill LMG mob on a brand new map. Everyone fucking does it. You know what I mean? So no one's going to be fucking watching the gameplay as it is. So I hope that you've been at least listening to what I've got to say. MLG. Who in the right mind put, we have to incorporate competitive gameplay, at the top of the tryout fucking list of things to do for the next Black Ops? Who did that? I certainly didn't fucking vouch for that. I don't recall everyone else putting that at the top of the priorities list. Yet, yeah, what have you been hearing about in terms of Black Ops and all these news about the multiplayer? Oh, it's all this shoutcasting, MLG, all this competitive gameplay, and it promotes compet That's fine. That's good. But it shouldn't be at the top of the priorities list. You know what it should be? The basic, fundamental core mechanics of your game. Make it play. Make it play good. Okay? Sort your priorities out. Listen to what the fuck we want to see in the game. Because if you keep going the way you're going, we won't fucking buy it. That's, it's that simple. We pay your fucking wage, people. We pay your fucking wage. Get your act together. And if you don't, then I'm sorry, but I will have to kick a cat in the face. And I like cats. Trust me, I like cats. Especially kittens, because they're fucking cute. Okay? But this is the sort of shit that I have to resort to to get fucking attention. And I don't want to do it. Seriously, I really do like kittens. I really do. They're cute. But until someone fucking listens to what the fuck the customer says, then, you know, I have to resort to this sort of means. Extreme measures. And I'm not going to enjoy it. But, you know. <sighs> Tell you what, there's some sort of fucking conspiracy going on because... 
I'll link I'll link in the description uh, below a commentary that I did about Activision and fucking Robert Bowling and shit. I know Activision are the only rational explanation to all this bullshittery, quite frankly, people, because there is no sane fucking person who sat in the boardroom or whatever, whether it's email, I don't give a shit. There is no sane person who sat when they, when they came up with Modern Warfare 2 and said, you know what, this'll work, this'll work, oh, and this'll work. No fucking sane person would have done that. No, well, any sane person will have done the same when Modern Warfare 3 came out. Seriously. I'm going to end on this suggestion. If, if, because like, like I said, Black Ops 2 will, will flop, in my opinion, it'll flop. If the next Call of Duty game after Black Ops 2, I assume it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, if they listen to everything, and I mean everything, that we want to see in the game, all the shit things that are associated with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or just Call of Duty in general, should I say, Death Streaks, fucking everything like that, if they didn't have any of that in it, and they purely implemented the stuff that we like, the stuff that we fucking want to see in every Call of Duty. If they did that, they will have themselves the best Call of Duty ever made. But you know what? I don't think they want to do it. I do not think they want to fucking make that game. And you know why I don't think they want to do it? Because if they did, how would they improve the next year? Think about it, people. How would they improve? By putting out less shitty games each year, they have, a, they have widened or lengthened the fucking... The profitability in terms of the fucking selling longevity of that franchise by making tiny little, you know, tiny little improvements each year. I think they're doing it on purpose. Seriously. I think they're doing it on purpose. Uh, I think Activision's giving them a pressure. I think their hands are tied. That they, you know, they, they're fucking game developers. They know what fucking works in a game. I assume they play the game. I assume they play the fucking game. They know what shit. They know what works. Why don't you fucking act on it, people? Act on it. Listen to what the fuck we are saying. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fuck a duck. <sighs> anyway, I just... You know, I'm, I'm fucking done. Seriously. Von der Haar. <sighs> Seriously. And to think, I was flying the flag for you guys. Seriously, I was flying the fucking flag. Disappointed. I, yeah, I'm not angry. Right, this is the thing. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. I'm f fucking disappointed. Right. Get your act together. People are putting money into this. Myself included. You're probably thinking, oh my god, what a nerdy little fucking rant. You're a fucking nerd. Get a life. Who gives a shit? It's a game. Well, you know what? I give a shit. Because I'm passionate about Call of Duty. And I'm sorry, but... The people that are in charge of each game that's been released, I, I honestly think they grind it until they grow in the franchise. I really do. Anyway, that, that that's my little rant. Hopefully, what it is I had to say was uh, in some sense coherent and um, whatever. Yeah, just just let me know what you think, people. Um, hopefully, I'm not the only one who thinks this, but anyway. Thanks for watching the coach guys. Thanks for watching the video. And seriously, just, just please don't make me kick a cat in the face. I, I don't want to. This has been it for 95. Peace.